Okay guys, today's video is going to be about carburetor cleaning with an ultrasonic. Um, this carburetor is off a early 80s XR80 and it's been all disassembled and shot down with, uh, with carburetor cleaner already. But if you look real close you're going to see some real nastiness. Look at that, that's just complete filth and junk from old gasoline, all kinds of crud. You see the outside of this carburetor, I, uh, I scrubbed it down, I shot it with carburetor cleaner, you see how dirty it still looks, right? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it in the Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner I got right there with a 50-50 mix of crud cutter, original formula, and hot water. Now that has heat, this unit has heat. So we're going to get some heat going and then I'm going to throw these parts in there and you're going to see what the uh, what the real deal is when it comes to cleaning carburetors because if you want your, your shit to run the way it was designed to you really need to do more than just spray carburetor cleaner deep in there and hope for the best. Even spraying it and then blasting it with uh, um, compressed air really doesn't do the the job that you need done. So I'm going to get set up here and uh, get some heat going. I'm going to let my machine heat up for a little bit and then we're going to throw these parts in there and you'll see the difference between carb cleaner and ultrasonic cleaning. Okay, I'm going to put the carb body, the main body, into the mix and I'm going to turn it on and just watch. Just watch what happens. It's a 50-50 mix of crud cutter and uh, hot water. So you're probably going to get some feedback over the camera, so I'm saying what I'm going to say right now, and then uh, it's probably going to get distorted when I turn this on from the ultrasonic vibration. But uh, clean it the best you can with cop cleaner, spray it down, spray through the passageways, and then put it inside this, and here we go. Okay, you can see what it's doing. I'm going to uh, close the lid because I don't want all my heat to come out. And I'm going to run it through probably, this machine has, this machine has eight minute cycles. So I'm probably going to run it through uh, maybe three or four and we'll see how it looks. You saw what it was doing to that. Now I'm going to take this little container that I have here with all my little parts in it because I like using this better than the parts the white thing you see in the sink over there with all the other filth. Uh, I like using this better than that tray. It seems to work better for me. I just cut four holes in it and I can rinse all the pieces off after they're done. So I'm going to drop this in with it. You saw how clean that water was. And you see these jets, right? There we go. Now the more weight you put into an ultrasonic cleaner like this, the less effective it'll be. So you don't want to overload it with too much. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, we'll come back to it. Give this stuff a couple cycles and then you'll see where it's at. Okay, I've run it through four or five cycles maybe. Moved it around a few times. Let's see what the end result looks like. I can't see what I'm looking at because I'm using a GoPro. Let's take a close look at it. Nice and clean. What a difference. Yeah, 
Yep. Two cycles with the choke in the arm position, two cycles with it off. Got a little bit of crud right there. That's nothing. The interior is spotless. So what I'm going to do, what I do with this and all the other parts, I'm going to take the other parts out in a minute. Uh, what I do with all this is I will wash it with hot soapy water and uh, then blow it, blow through it clean. I'll, I'll get all this uh, crud cutter off it. And that is a clean carburetor. Unbelievable. While I'm at it, while I'm still making a video, why not do this? I left this separate. If you can see inside there, you can see all kinds of green junk. See that? It's gas residue and junk. So we're going to uh, we're going to blast that right now. It's amazing how fast it works. So I'm going to let that go through a few cycles, then I'll take everything out, all the jets, and I'll show you what it all looks like. You can see the water's filth. So we'll let it rip for a little while, and we'll take it from there. Okay, here's the rest of it. Um, this bowl came out nice and clean. It's, uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Looks really good. Uh, the jets completely blasted free of all that green corrosion and crud a little bit of discol discoloration because it's old brass I mean this one's from 1980 the very early 80s But what I'm after is to make sure that all the passageways are opened up complete and the internals are um, You know spotless uh, needle adjustment valve looks okay i'll probably take a little tiny piece of scotch bright to it and just polish it up a little bit but there's uh it's just an old discoloration um everything else came out nice nice and clean so we're going to put this baby back together in the next video we're going to go through tuning a small uh dirt bike engine just like this how to get your settings dialed right in and hopefully that'll help some people um i know it helps me i've done a bunch of carburetors i've done my harley davidson I've done, uh, <clears throat> just yesterday I did both carburetors on my snowmobile, um, and that is, what a difference between last year. I should have done it last year, but I didn't have this machine at the right time. Um, I've done, what have I done? The Harley, the snowmobile, uh, my Kawasaki, the camo bike, you see in some of the other videos. Uh, I've done a few different carburetors, and this is just... It just makes them, it brings them right back to the day you got them. It just makes a huge difference. So I highly recommend it, you know, one of those ultrasonic cleaners. I think the thing was 80 bucks before uh, a 20% off coupon. So I probably got over 70 bucks last year and I've given it a beating. And before I go, I want to show you what came off of that carburetor and what came out of it. I don't know how well you can see it. But it's really pretty, uh, it's pretty disgusting. So it was pretty bad. Um, and I hope you enjoy the video. That's it.